Huh. You thought fighting one broken character is tough? Try three. Plus this weirdo in the back. Pokemon Trainer has always been a cool character concept to me. Ever since we first saw him back in Brawl, I was really fascinated with what he can do. And now that we're here in Smash Ultimate, I'm wondering why Squirtle and Ivysaur haven't evolved yet, cause god they're strong. Thanks to everyone suggesting Pokemon Trainer, including my boy Omar, who um, really wanted Pokemon Trainer. I've had this character in the back of my head for quite a minute, cause uh, you know, it's three characters. Yep, Pokemon Trainer's Down B allows you to rotate through a giant fire lizard, a really cool turtle, and a dinosaur plant thing. Meaning you're basically playing three characters in one, which makes this a character with probably the most potential, but also one of the most complicated. So given the fact that it's three characters in one, let's take a look at their moves individually. And first up, we got Charizard. And Charizard is a big boy. I gotta say, he's probably the one that makes me cry the most. First up, we got his neutral B, the flamethrower. Want to torture your friends so they can't get back up stage? Just burn them to a crisp. It may not be the craziest of moves, but it's definitely a contender for the most annoying. But it nowhere near compares to the suicidal rampage. Yeah, the, the side B. Also known as Flare Blitz, this special attack shoots him in a given direction, making him take damage and then murdering the opponent. It's kind of insane how strong this move is. When you see an opponent coming at you with this full force, don't stand there. This move is a pretty god dang good game ender if you don't know how to properly avoid it. Charizard's up B is alright, I guess. It's an okay recovery, but also has the potential to damage opponents multiple times, so at least it has that going for it. And let's not forget about the down B, the iconic rock smash. Wait, this is not Smash 4. Charizard, use rock smash! Charizard, I, I said use rock smash! Your disappointment to all of us. Aside from Charizard, we also got Ivysaur, who's pretty unique. His neutral B is known as Bullet Seed, and it's pretty useless. I mean, I don't know, realistically, in all my time online, I've never seen anyone use this other than for a meme. It goes straight up and hardly has any range. The side B is a projectile called Razor Leaf, and at least that's a bit more practical. It goes through opponents even after hitting them, so, as that. Now, Ivysaur's recovery is actually garbage. This thing is known as Vine Whip, and it literally only whips to the ledge. It doesn't give him an extra jump or anything. And to make it worse, the hitbox is exclusively in front of him. So yeah, have fun SDing. But don't think Ivysaur is bad, because his aerials would like to say otherwise. His up air and down air have the stupidest hitboxes in the world, and it outranges everything for no reason. Uh, uh, Ivysaur, watch out, you're gonna die! <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I forgot, you're like, broken. <sighs> and finally, we have Squirtle. Squirtle's annoying. I mean, I don't know how else to put it, he's essentially the Sonic of Pokemon. Squirtle's really fast, has solid aerials, and with practice put into him, yeah, he can make me cry any day of the week. His neutral B is basically Mario's Flood, but they call it Water Gun or whatever. And he's essentially the Gip Master against anyone with a sucky recovery. Now Squirtle's recovery itself is okay. Also known as Waterfall, Squirtle rides a turret of water that also damages enemies. And then there's Squirtle's Side B. His Side B is known as Withdraw, and yeah, this is where the Sonic comes in. He goes in his shell and flies back and forth across the stage, and he's just so annoying. I mean, I know I'm bad at the game, but god dang it, I can't hit him. Squirtle, go sicko mode. Squirtle, me, ma. Ah, uh, look at him go. See, the thing is though, while these Pokemon may be okay just by themselves, putting them together is entirely different. The combo game I have seen is actually amazing. And honestly, I applaud you if you're this skilled of Pokemon trainer. The amount of moves and tactics that you would have to memorize is basically tripled, and there's so many possibilities to what you can do with a switch off combo. So yeah, I give you credit. Just please don't 1v1 me. Hey guys, it's Nangani, thank you so much for watching, and thank you to Gitmads for lending his amazing voice. Go subscribe to him, he makes some really great content. And also, thank you guys for 3,000 subscribers, I did not expect to hit it so soon. Uh, anyway, more vids are coming up shortly, uh, so yeah, I'll see you in the next one, I promise it won't take so long. And uh, yeah, see ya!